Hi there, my name's Nicholas, and today I have another quick tip for you. So when you're doing a math problem, oh, I forgot to mention, I'm a professional math tutor. <laughs> That's why we're here. Um, when you're doing a math problem and you keep getting it wrong and you don't know why, and you're looking at your work, you're trying to check your work, um, often you don't know what you did wrong. And I think it's really important that students check their work. Unfortunately, it's hard to do, and a lot of students are really bad at it. One way to not check your work is just to go through line by line and be like, yep, 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 yep. In order for you to properly check your work, it should take longer to check it than it did to do the problem in the first place. If you just glance over it, of course everything's going to look right. So one technique when you try to check your work, you know it's wrong, but you don't know where you went wrong, is to say out loud what you did. Pretend you're explaining it to your tutor or your teacher. Like first, so I divided both sides by two. I added three and then I took the square root of both sides. Just read it aloud. I know that sounds silly, especially if you're in a room by yourself, but um, I can't tell you how many times, you know, I'm working with a student in one of my sessions and the student says, I'm keeping the wrong answer, but I don't know what I did. And I said, well, tell me what you did. And then with, I won't say a word and they get halfway through their explanation and they'll be like, oh, I see what I did. And then they fix it. Then they get the right answer. So that's my quick tip for today. I hope you have a great day. Take care. And if you'd like to work with me, feel free to uh, reach out. I'm available everywhere and hopefully I'll talk to you soon. Bye.